What's up guys, welcome back to another video. We are at Lake Redmond in Pennsylvania, but the lake is drying up. So we're gonna be fishing this creek out here. I'm fishing that creek bed, trying to find some big bass that are gonna be up in this creek, eating some shad. I got a Texas rig and a swim bait set up on my rods. So yeah, let's go get them. All right guys, we're gonna start with this Gary Yamamoto Sanko. And my favorite color for imitating little small bait fish is this baby bass. So we're going to, we're gonna start with this color. And so basically these bass here are pushing shad all up against this bank. So you just have to cast it next to the bank and pop it and try to get a big bass's attention. Yesterday I caught a couple, but today we're gonna try to get a big one. This is a mystery tackle box trapper hook, by the way. A very sharp, very good hook for Texas rigging. And it seems to keep them pinned on the hook very well. Uh, hopefully we can catch a fish today. Hopefully we can get a bass, that's the goal. But we'll see. All right. Oh, got him. We're on guys. Oh. Woo. I'm assuming they get that for you. Whoa. Nice. He's a dink, but I'll take that. He crushed the, uh, hold on, let me clean off the camera. He, uh, he crushed the Sanko. Let me see if I can find it right here. This little uh, green pumpkin magic Sanko. Awesome. Sorry. I, uh, I hooked him and I was like, oh shoot. And got the recording. He's probably, I don't know, quarter of a pound, half pound, something like that, maybe. I would say roughly, he's probably eight ounces, eight to 10 ounces or half pound. Not a bad fish. As you can see, his uh, his teeth are super sharp. That means he's feeding on bait fish, but yeah, man. I'll take that. Lake Redmond Bass. There, There's a lot of them up all along this creek and that little guy was just sitting right on the edge feeding on some bait fish. So I'm gonna get a new Senko on and hopefully get some more. Oh, got him, got him guys, good one. Shoot, got him. Whoa. He hit that right as it hit the water. Better fish too. Look at that, it's about a one pounder. Nice. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Barely hooked right in the outside. Oh, it's a good fish right there. Let me get a quick picture and then we're gonna let him go, but that's awesome. I got him right on the other edge over there. I casted right next to, If I don't know if you can see, but there's a little group of trees over there in the mud and I cast it kind of over there. But yeah, awesome fish right here. So, got a picture, and we're gonna let him go. I got him on my new Mock Crush bait casting combo, and that's about a one pound bass, so we'll take him. See ya, buddy. Awesome. Those new Sankers are putting in work. He hit that right as I hit the water. Woo, let's go, guys. All right, guys, uh, just got my second fish of the day right there. And, ah. Uh, I'm just gonna keep fishing on this bank, trying to pick off another fish. That one pounder, that was not bad. That's about an average size for this lake. So we're definitely looking for some over two pounds by the end of the day, hopefully, we'll see. In my last video I was here, I caught a two pound five ouncer, which is very good for this lake. Anything over two pounds is pretty good for this lake. So hopefully we get some around that size. I saw a couple that were a little bigger than that and the same size as that yesterday. So just gonna be about locating those fish and getting the bait in front of their face. Oh, I got one. Got him. 
Another one, baby. Oh, smacked it. Same end. Nice. Oh, no. Quick release. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> awesome. Looks up there. Looks like they are uh, oh, stacked up right over here. There's a big shade line and the water. Oh, another one. No way. Oh my gosh. They're stacked, dude. You're kidding me. What the? As right as it hit the water. Oh, good one right here. Oh, oh yeah. What the heck is going on, man? Found a whole school. Ooh. Guys, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I knew they were feeding on. Ow, ow, ow. I almost hit myself. I knew they were feeding. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Here we go. Let's get this hook out. There you go. Boom. He's probably, I don't know, pound and three ounces. Another good fish out here at Lake Redman. Dang, man. They are literally stacked up. That was two casts in a row. I hooked one. I mean, I'm, I'm just casting. Here, let me clean off the lens to show you. Basically, I'm fishing. There's a very deep pocket right in this far end of the creek. And they're all stacked up on there because they're pushing those bait up, up there. So, yeah, that's another nice fish. So, beautiful, beautiful fish right there. Awesome. Hey guys, on my way out, I just caught this little skinny bass, but I switched to a swim bait right here to mimic those little fish I was seeing, but that's awesome. A little bass on a swim bait. All right, guys, that's going to wrap this video up, but it turned out to be a beautiful day. Got a couple fish, and yeah, uh, I'm going to show a bonus clip at the end of this video of the first bass I ever caught on my mock crush combo. So. Ooh. Oh, ooh, I think that's a bite. Yep, got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Yes, sir. First one of the day, a little dink. Felt him take it right there. First fish on my new rod. So, an extra fish catch for you guys. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey guys, Matthew here. And uh, first things first, if you made it this far in the video, thank you. Thank you for watching my video. I worked uh, I worked pretty hard in this one. I went out to my local lake and just tried to catch as many fish as possible to get this video out. Because I know I haven't been uploading as frequent recently. And I'm going to try to do better at that. Uh, this fall, I'm going to go fishing a lot in the salt water for tog season with my dad. So I'll probably get some salt water videos out for you guys then. But yeah, just thank you for watching my videos. Uh, I've recently gotten into bass fishing and that's why... I'm making a lot of these bass centered videos. So uh, if you've gotten this far into the video, please like the video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss future uploads. But yeah, I appreciate every single one of you that's gotten this far and watched my videos. So thank you. And I owe you one. So I'll see you in the next one.